1964, this area of Northwest England, known as the Forest of Boland, was designated an area of outstanding natural beauty because of its scenic valleys, gritstone fells, and peat moorland. It covers an area of 310 square miles, which is 803 square kilometers. And although the weather is definitely not on my side today, it is raining now and it has been raining pretty much all night. I am hoping to make it down to have a look around some of the small villages and little known places in the rolling hills that are behind me. So if you're interested in coming along on the adventure and taking a look around the forest of Boland with me, then let's get in the car and get on the road. Get out of this rain as well. So my first mini stop today is going to be the hamlet of Whitewell. It is a very small place, just saw it as I was driving through. It has a nice looking church, pretty busy though with cars parked. I think a lot of people are out walking in the hills even though it's raining. I'm making my way to some stepping stones that cross the Hodder River and when we get there we'll take a look to see if it's possible to cross today. No canoeing, fishing by permit holders only. And look at those stepping stones across the river. Who dares me to try and make it across? Probably not the best thing to do in the slippery wet conditions, but let's give it a go. Another sign up here. No bankside access, no picnics, follow footpath only. Pretty strict area. Made it to Dunsop Bridge, which is named after the actual Dunsop Bridge, which I'll take a look at in just a few moments. But I'm just currently down by this little stream, really picturesque, beautiful area. The village is famous in the area for being the geographical centre of Great Britain, although it's not the exact centre. The exact centre is four and a half miles north of here. It is the closest village where people can live to that central point. So I'm gonna take a stroll, I think, a little bit further up here past this tiny little stony river and then head over towards that bridge I was telling you about. There's the famous bridge. Okay, across the road here is an old post office and tea room. And I think what I'm going to do is head over the bridge, see what's on the other side. Just spotted St George's Church. To be honest, I never would have realised that that was a church unless I saw that sign. OK, we'll just walk a little bit further along now. By the way, in terms of areas of outstanding natural beauty, there are 33 of them in England eight in Wales and four in Northern Ireland. And then there's also one that is in both England and Wales. So there are quite a few about, and as I said earlier, the forest of Boland is one of them. I'm on the boundary of the village. You can see the sign there. And just behind me here is some pretty extravagant gates and a nice driveway. 
sign here saying no parking but nothing about not being able to walk up here so figured I'd give it a go see what's at the other end at the end of that driveway looks like there is a fairly modern steel looking bridge here and then from what I can make out some private houses very very nice indeed but I am yearning to get up into those hills to be honest so I think what I'm going to do head back across this bridge and get back to the car and head on towards a little bit more countryside the quaint little village of Newton on Boland. Population here of around about 350. It is a very tiny place. I'm just gonna have a stroll through it. Lots of old stone buildings here. Schoolhouse cottage, that one's called. And this really is the center of the village. There we go. By the way, if you're if you're wondering, if you're wondering why you haven't seen many trees in the forest of Boland, it's because the name Forest of Boland comes from the fact that it was once a royal forest, which in the old days used to mean that it was essentially a hunting area. It's not anymore, but the name of the forest has kind of stuck. My first little bit of blue sky up there. By the way, I am currently on the GoPro. The reason is my main camera, my Sony ZV-1, first time I'm actually using it on this trip actually, I have a condensation problem inside the lens with it owing to all that rain this morning. I've got my fingers crossed that all will be well with it, but at the moment, Every time you turn it on, it just looks like it's misting up, so it's unusable. Okay, what have we got over here? First World War Memorial. Nice place. Yeah, I've got to say, definitely worth a stop. My next stop is going to be, see up there, the little town or village of Sladeburn. Well, I've been lucky enough to visit Newton, Clitheroe, the Trough of Boland and Whitewell. And I'm now in another small village called Sladeburn. Population here of around 350 people. Another nice little garden area at the front of these stone houses. Very, very pretty again. There is a war memorial just behind me. And then a little bit further up, there's the village post office. So I'll show you that before we move on to yet another town here in the forest of Boland. 
I am up close to the top of the hill. Little village notice board here. They have these in all the villages that I've seen so far. Just telling the local community about certain things. Signs saying turn right for Settle. Another little town up here, much visited by tourists. The village pub there, Hark to Bounty. And then, as we come up here a little bit further, there is the village post office. It is closed, but it is there nonetheless. Well, another lovely little town. So I think I'm gonna jump back in the car now, see if I can find another one. Welcome to Sawley Abbey. Right in front of me is the Abbey built in 1147. And just driving through the little village of Sawley, I've got to say it looks really, really nice. Shame I can't show it to you properly, but it is still raining like crazy. It is raining even heavier now. And uh, I'm going to call it a day with the video here overlooking the Abbey. But thanks for watching. Loads more coming from the Forest of Boland area, including Pendle Hill, including Clitheroe. So stay tuned, but I will leave you with the image of a very, 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 very wet Sawley Abbey. Good night from the Forest of Boland. Mm -hmm.